taking place after the first Kite anime, Kite Liberator tells the story of Monaka. Everybody thinks she's a sweet high school girl who works at a diner called the Apollo. And she's a bit of a klutz. Customers waiting. Go take his order, okay, sweetie? Yes! You're so clumsy. Come on, get up. I'm sorry. But unaware to everyone is that she is an assassin known as the Angel of Death. The door. <laughs> Monaka's father is an astronaut who is working on a space station in outer space. But due to a mishap by a friend who developed an untested space food, became less than human. Let's head over to the crew's living. <laughs> Soon, Monaka and her father will be together again, but through different circumstances. Will I ever see you again? Hey, what are you talking about? You'll see, I'll be back before you know it. Nothing's gonna keep me away from you, honey. I promise. I'll be waiting for you, Daddy. I promise. I promise I'll come back. So this is a sci-fi action anime, originally created and directed by Yasuomi Umetsu, who is best well known for the Mezzo series and the controversial Kite. Now fans of the first film will be disappointed, because this anime has nothing to do with the first film. And although it has a decent storyline, it does leave a few unanswered plot holes. Now the director of this anime is well known for his intense violence, crazy action, and controversial subjects in his previous anime. But I'm afraid that all of that is very toned down. And I mean like toned down a lot. But it was just enough to be entertaining. Get an ambulance out here right now! We're continuing pursuit! <laughs> The animation was done by the director himself. One thing you gotta love about Umetsu's work is that his character designs are vivid and smooth to the touch, especially when it comes to the female characters. Plus, he makes good use of the CG animation. The drive goes 900 meters from the docking area. Everything looks A-OK. -okay. The voice acting for both English and Japanese dub was just OK for me. Although the English dub suffers from bad lip syncing. <laughs> now don't you worry about a thing, Sugar Pop. They find out I'm working an underage girl like you this late at night. I'm the one who's gonna get busted. <laughs> and you'll get your business license suspended. Mm. That's not something you should be laughing about, boss. Oh, don't be so mean, Miss Mukai! Miss Noguchi, if the boss sexually harassed you, then you'd better speak up about it right away. Oh, I don't mind, really. The music was done by Tomohisa Ishikawa, who worked on animes like Apple Seed, Ex Machina, and Innocent Venus. The music in this anime has this orchestral classic beauty to it that really fits in with this anime. And Kite Liberator may not please the fans of the first film, but I would still give it a shot. So, that's my review of Kite Liberator. I give this anime a 3 out of 5. Oh, and I also want to announce that there is going to be a Kite Liberator 2 coming out, which is probably going to be awesome. I just hope that it fills in some of the plot holes that were missing from this film. I mean, I just think that they should have explained a few more things in this anime. Well, see ya!